Today we will introduce how to select a suitable optical resource based on visible light when researchers will conduct a reaction on the visible and mostly researchers would like to be simulate the solar which wavelength range is uh, at uh, 380 to 780 nanometer. Uh, need to be use a uh, optical resource that can simulate the solar to get the irradiation that uh, suitable for the catalyst or the device with the optical resource simulated um, this can be easier to prove that the predict catalyst or the device is suitable to be applied uh, in industry under sound irradiation. Initially, the solar visible optical irradiation was uh, provided by a long arc lantern lamp, which is uh, similar to the solar. You can see from the wavelength distribution that the long arc lantern lamp almost covered all the range from 380 to 780. Mm -hmm. However, uh, this long arc generate a huge of heat during the work. And that limited the application that when researcher was applied in the lab, it will consume more energy to control the temperature. So it's not uh, very widely used at uh, recently. But uh, uh, more and more researcher was uh, still trying to use it because this one can predict, can provide pre uh, high irradiation efficient, which can irradiate from inside the reactor because uh, the shape of the lamp that is easier to be put inside in the reactor. Another resource that provided the similar irradiation as in, so in the solar is the short arc then lamp. More and more researchers have started to use this one because it's much close to the solar irradiation. And uh, with the special design of the lamp cited as here, uh, we can reach the target to decrease the heat exhaust by the wind heat exhaust. Uh, when the irradiation lead into the reactor, it uh, no longer contain huge heat anymore. So we don't need any uh, cooling system to run the reaction on the room temperature with the irradiation provided under this condition. And also with our special design of the optical filter that is installed at the tip of the fiber, uh, we can select it to use the narrow wavelength irradiation on the predict wavelength. This is very uh, easy for a researcher to handle the study on the predict irradiation as uh, below. So this is the all optical resource filter that available to filter the full range optical resource to got lo uh, narrow irradiation under predict wavelength value. Another optical resource that can be applied to fit for the full range wavelengths under visible is LED. Um, with our special design LED irradiation, you can reach the target to be got a suitable optical irradiation from external. Uh, LED, the limitation is you it's not easy to get a suitable reactor design to reach from the, the irradiation from inside the reactor. But from outside reactor, it's uh, uh, quite easy. We recently, our LED chip replicable products can be 
reached the target to be not only limited on full range visible but also can be applied uh, narrow irradiation from UV to IR uh, of all range of the wavelengths you can select it from our uh, brochure if you are interested you can call us to get the brochure that uh, the chips that were available for you to change under the same device other optical resource that can use for reach the irradiation on the visible beside the then lamp and the LED is halogen lamp. Halogen lamp you can select it um, and refer the wave distribution from this slide. This one is uh, okay if your budget is uh, limited. If this lamp also generates heat, you need a little bit uh, cooling device to control the temperature. If your irradiation from inside uh, or if your irradiation close to your reactor, you need to be take care of the heat exhaust. Uh, so, conclu in conclusion, is uh, if you want to decrease the application of cooling efficient, you can consider about such arc then a lamp which is much close to the solar uh, in addition from outside you can choose optical filter to get the wavelengths under predict value LED is also one option uh, which is much cheaper uh, if your budget is limited LED can be considered and is also flexible to obtain all range of wavelengths uh, if you s insist to use the long arc then a lamp, you must be pay attention to the heat exhaust because the heat generated is huge. You must have a highly efficient cooling uh, system to control the temperature, otherwise your reaction will be interrupted. Uh, Halogen lamp may face a similar problem, uh, but the heat generated will be a little bit lower than the long arc then a lamp. Uh, Halogen lamp, the advantage is, is the price. So if your uh, budget is limited, you can consider Halogen lamp to provide uh, temporary uh, irradiation. Of course, if you would like to make your uh, publication be easier, you no need to be proof about why you choose a halogen lamp. You can choose short arc then the lamp or long arc then the lamp. This is a very widely used start from the beginning of the optical research. So most of the researchers are use then the lamp as the irradiation. Now more researchers are also consider use LED. Uh, some researchers use halogen, so you can choose uh, uh, the suitable lamp based on your budget, based on your experimental design, based on your research requirement.